if w1 is this set and w1 is the subspace of r3 and w2 is also another sub subspace of r3 then we have to find dimension of w1 plus w2 means dimension of sum of two subspaces to find dimension of two subspaces we have the formula dimension of w1 plus w2 is equal to dimension of individual means dimension of w1 plus the dimension of w2 minus dimension of intersection of two subspaces particularly w1 intersection w2 another format of this formula i can write w1 intersection w2 is equal to w dimension of w1 plus dimension of w2 minus dimension of sum of two subspaces w1 plus w2 these two are same formula and uh, only the terms we have transpose and get the another format for this one now we have to find dimension of w1 because of we need to find dimension of sum so dimension of w1 if we have and dimension of w2 also dimension of intersection then we can easily tell about dimension of sum of two subspaces for this we have to find dimension of w1 if any element uh, x y z suppose x y z is coming from r3 belongs to w1 then this uh, element or constituents of the elements will satisfy the property of w1 or subspace w1 so x minus 2 y plus z equals to 0 if we have x minus 2 y equals to z or minus z i can write if i assign values of x and y then value of z will depends on these two values or i can generally say if we assign values of two variable then value of other one will depend on these two means we have two choices for which i can assign values so dimension of this one will be two it means dimension of w1 is equal to 2 similarly dimension of w2 we will find so let x y z belongs to w2 and its constituents will satisfy the property x equal to y equal to z as you can see in this set or set builder notation for this x x x will be the element or the structure of the element which are in w2 as uh, you can see elements have the x x x type it means uh, if i assign the value of variable x then we can write easily the, this this vector means dimension of w2 is equal to 1 because of there is only one linearly independent choice we have now we have to find dimension of intersection so dimension of intersection will be how i can find for this i assume let uh, x y z belongs to intersection of w1 and w2 it means that this element will belongs to individual means w1 and uh, will belongs to w2 also if this element is belonging to w1 it means that constitute constituents of elements constituents of vector will satisfy the property of this set x minus 2y plus z equals to 0 and uh, similarly it will satisfy the property of w2 so x equal to y equal to z from these two i can write element will be x x x type means only single linearly independent choice we have it means i can assign only the value of x and uh, after assigning the value of x i can write uh, entire vector and this vector will be help uh, will help uh, to generate all elements of w2 means the uh, dimension of intersection is 1 dimension of w1 intersection w2 is equal to 1 now use the formula as uh, we discussed in this uh, class as the dimension of w1 plus w2 means sum will be equal to dimension of individual as the dimension of w1 is 2 
plus dimension of W2 is 1 minus dimension of intersection and I got this as 1. So 1 minus 1 cancel out and I left 2. Means uh, which one option is giving value 2 as the dimension of W1 plus W2. So option B is correct choice.